In the late 1990s, Colorado wildlife researchers discovered that sage grouse in the Gunnison Basin were unique from the sage grouse found elsewhere. They observed that the Gunnison sage grouse were about two thirds the size of the sage grouse found north of the Colorado River, and that they had distinct differences in their plumage. When strutting, the Gunnison males display tail feathers that have more distinct white barring than the other grouse, and they have longer phyloplumes, the wispy feathers tossed back over their necks. In 1995, after extensive study, the researchers concluded that the Gunnison sage grouse was indeed a separate species from the others. Gunnison sage grouse once ranged throughout southwestern Colorado and into parts of Utah and New Mexico. Today they inhabit only 10% of their original range, with the strongest remaining populations found in the Gunnison Basin. In 2000, due to their declining numbers, Gunnison sage grouse were designated as a candidate for listing under the Endangered Species Act. To assure the long-term survival of the species and to help remove them from listing consideration, Colorado Parks and Wildlife and other state and federal agencies joined forces to create a range-wide conservation plan. The plan was designed to protect, enhance, and conserve the species. Researchers estimate the population numbers by counting the birds on known leks during the spring breeding season. Later, the researchers locate the broods using radio telemetry. When a brood is found, the researchers capture the wild chicks and implant them with tiny radio chips. In conjunction with the range-wide plan, Colorado Parks and Wildlife is studying the possibilities of bolstering wild populations with chicks reared in captivity. Using a flock of Gunnison sage grouse that were bred and reared in large enclosed aviaries, the researchers were able to synchronize the captive grouse's breeding activities to wild grouse in the Gunnison Basin. Eggs produced by the captive birds were weighed and then placed in special incubators for precise control of temperature and humidity. As the chicks hatch, they are placed in isolation pens where they are fed hourly. The researchers wear ghillie suits so the chicks do not imprint on humans. After a few weeks, the chicks will be transported to the Gunnison Basin. where they will be fitted with radio implants and then placed with wild female grouse that have broods of their own. While the success of the captive breeding and release program is yet to be determined, the study has revealed that the wild females readily adopt the captive reared chicks as if they were their own. <laughs>